They're calling it the Aquashella Experience, a salt and freshwater aquarium show like no other, an underwater universe in fish, speakers, vendors, art, coral, and aquatic plants. George Mavrakis is a YouTuber in the aquarium industry, putting on the show with partner Sean Hale. There's aquarium shows around the country, but nothing quite like the way we're doing it. We do have a big presence in both fresh and salt water, and specifically aquatic plants. Internationally recognized aquascaping geniuses, he says, and coral. Under certain actinic lighting, corals glow. Local artist Rafael Campos created giant murals that mesh with the tanks among 13 artists contributing. It's all happening this weekend at the White Eagle Convention Center in Niles. Mike Krauser, News Radio on 105.9 FM. What's up, guys? Welcome to Aquashella Chicago 2018. So, yep, that's me inside an oyster. Wait, that actually might be a clam. I'm not entirely sure. I know it's been like three months since the festival happened, but um, stuff's been a bit crazy for me. I had to get right back into taking university courses. My basketball season started and this video just got pushed back. But in today's video, we are finally going to be talking about everything that went down at Aquashella. Now I know you guys are probably like, George, enough with the Aquashella videos, we're done. But I'm not just gonna move on without talking about it. The whole thing was just so crazy and I wanted to do this video justice. I'm gonna explain some key parts of the festival, my personal experience, and then some things that you should know about Aquashella before you decide to go. All right, so I guess we should just start back at the beginning. So yeah, we spent just an absolute absurd amount of money to get a giant inflatable octopus on the roof and also to put our logo on a giant inflatable clownfish. It's kind of what happens when you give a 21 year old like a, a decent amount of money. Do I regret the inflatables? Yeah, I don't know, but do I really? I kind of do love them though. <laughs> The art aspect of the festival sticks out to most people when they first hear or see anything about Aquashella. People were like, seeing our promo and advertising material and stuff and were like, is this a rave? No, that's not what it is. This is for people who love aquariums and aquatic animals. At the same time, this isn't your typical aquarium convention where you just like walk down the aisles and like walk down other aisles, I don't know. The main installation this year was right after the entrance where you get your Aquashella wristband and your UV glasses. This featured fluorescent aquatic themed art with some different interactive parts. Throughout the rest of the festival, the aquatic art and theme continues, but it's a little bit more intertwined with the aquariums and vendors. The goal with all of this, which I think we achieved, was to completely change the way that people think about our hobby and also to bring a more modern and unique approach to educating people about the animals. One thing that really distinguishes Aquashella from any other convention is our Amazon themed room. This was definitely one of the most interesting and exciting parts of the show. In the Amazon room, you have everything from really rare freshwater river monsters to reptiles, amphibians, and arachnids. One of the vendors that was responsible for helping us set up that room was Pleco Paradise. The owners, George and Gino, really brought some amazing freshwater animals. Right there is what we call a trophy, guys. That's what we call a river monster. I like the accent, that was really good. Yeah. yeah. You want to tell them a little about, about this? This is fish? the L418 Shampoopa. I want to say 28 days ago, I got a phone call from George over here. This guy was still swimming in the river. Look at this. Arapaima on a fly. This thing. This. We managed to get a couple of these things in, including this guy and including this. These are from two separate countries. This is representing two of the countries that we do business with the most Colombia. Hopefully they can start reproducing in the U.S. because this is a very, very rare stingray. Justin from Dat's Cichlids got me started holding my first snake. Here at Aquashella, you can buy snakes. Tell me so about this one. The appearance on this was a leopard coral glow, 100% het pied, to a black pastel, 50% het pied. This is the world of ball pythons. They like to hang out, eat chill snakes, and just hang with you. 
Thanks for checking the tent. I got home. Oh, he's got me. He's not letting go. That must mean that he wants to go home with them. Oh, no, no, no. Three dates first. Three, Three dates. dates. Calling. But yeah, Justin was really good with educating people about the animals. And this is one of the parts of the festival that can be really fun is you have all of these trained professionals who will let you hold some of the animals under careful supervision. That's good. Not turn. Yeah. Yes. They're so cute. Does it want to come to the pub? Yeah. Does it want to come to the pub? <laughs> Plus something that people don't always realize when going into Aquashella is that almost all of the animals are for sale. Now, we obviously don't want people to make impulse purchases. These are animals, but we definitely do want to inspire people to learn more about the animals, and then if they have the proper living arrangements to potentially take home a new pet. Okay, so one of the most fun parts about the festival is getting to see the interactions between freshwater YouTubers and saltwater YouTubers. I feel like there aren't a lot of situations where you get to see the different parties collide and be in the same place. So getting to see over 25 different YouTubers all in different parts of the hobby, uh, kind of floating around and hanging out together in our YouTube corner was pretty special. It's you live, live on a Sunday. Look at him, live on a Sunday, on a Sunday baby. baby. Dustin ran a kids aquascaping contest. We have a whole YouTubers corner. These are all of the aquarium YouTubers that came to the show. Moki, okay, I didn't explain this, but Moki from Inappropriate Reefer has been filming this the whole time. YouTubers doing the Zarya's nails. Now we're in the exhibitors hall. 80 freshwater and saltwater, dry goods, livestock vendors. You got just about everything in this room. Welcome everybody to Aqua Shella day one. This is without a doubt an experience. I've never been to a show like this. I walk around and into these different rooms and look at this artwork and taking pictures and videos of things that I've never seen in 30 years of being in the industry. It brings the, the show to a brand new... I mean, see a show of this magnitude, bring the two together. Freshwater and other shows that we've been to. Everybody brought this, this revolution of artwork. My experience. So I'm gonna be honest, setting up Aquashella was definitely one of the hardest things that I've done in my life. Sean and I worked on it every day for six months leading up to the event. So that obviously meant that I didn't have a lot of time to make Coral Fish 12G videos, which I feel pretty bad about. But I feel like Aquashella was really the culmination of everything that I've done in my career because all of the people who have met in my time in the hobby, the experiences I've had, the fish stores and places I've been, it all sort of came together and those people brought their specialties to the show and it's because of them that I'm really honestly so thankful for being able to put the whole thing together. Overall, we had almost 4,000 people come through the doors between the two days. It was definitely a successful event and so I actually have a special announcement for you guys. In addition to next year's festival in Chicago for 2019, we're introducing a new second location and Aquashella is coming to Dallas, Texas. This spring, March 30th and 31st, 2019, 
we're gonna be holding another Aquashella in Dallas at the Fair Park Grounds, one of the most iconic venues in the state of Texas. It'll be the same festival, but with new installations, more animals, and bigger surprises. Supposedly, everything is bigger in Texas, and we anticipate the lines to be bigger and longer for this one as well. So if you're interested in buying tickets, I would recommend going to our website as soon as you can. Just be aware, this event can sell out, and we're honestly a little anxious because we know that we're gonna be drawing people from Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Oklahoma. What other states border Texas? Um, oh, Louisiana, New Mexico. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. You can now buy the Aquashella t-shirt on our website. They glow under the UV lights, which is pretty cool. They come in all different fits, colors. Link in description. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the new Aquashella Dallas Festival, but I just wanna say on behalf of Sean and our team, thank you to everybody who came to Aquashella Chicago, all of the vendors and different artists. I really appreciate everything that you guys did and the sacrifices that you may have made to make Aquashella possible. So we're excited to run things back in Dallas, but until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.